welcome back guys so now in this video we will add the animation so if you guys remember let me get back to the watch.js i've added the ref ref tag right so uh then i have the materials and everything so now i'm gonna use something called use frame all right use frame comes from react 3 fiber normally we can use use effect but use effect is called every time use frame is like very uh memoized and it is uh, optimized so we need to use use frame always use use frame whenever you're animating anything then pass in the state state is the default state all right and uh, over here i'm gonna write uh, t is equals to state dot clock dot get elapsed time so this will get us the elapsed time this will give us the time dot yeah this is basically a time uh, value over here all right so it will basically help us smooth uh, smooth up uh, all the it will basically help us get smooth animations and i'm gonna use ref dot current ref is this mesh group over here ref dot current dot rotation rotation dot x is equals to minus math dot pi divided by 1.75 okay plus math dot cos math dot cos okay and inside this thing we need to pass t divided by 4 all right t divided by 4 divided by 8 all right and yeah i guess this is what we have to do for this uh, rotation and we need to write ref dot current dot rotation dot y is equals to math dot sign okay t divided by 4 and divided by 8 all right and one more thing that we need to do is the ref dot current dot rotation we have to do the same thing for the z axis as well. rotation dot z is equals to you know we need to write a formula one plus math dot sign t divided by 1.5 and we need to divide this whole thing by 2 20 and write ref dot current dot position dot y is equals to 1 plus math dot sine t divided by 1.5 and this will be divided by 10 all right so using this we can basically yeah get the animation let me um so as you guys can see this thing uh has this animation but it went down a little bit so let me just fix it up real quick so i guess the formula that i wrote was uh, a little bit different you guys can write the formula by using this thing so now as you guys can see this thing is animating very nicely looks really great yeah it looks very real and it looks really nice if you have this thing if you have a product like a watch or something like that and if you have this thing on your landing page then your competitors can get wrecked all right jokes apart so now uh, after this thing suppose if i want to add uh, html to it that is why i've added this group okay suppose if i write, if i want to add html to this particular this thing then i need to import it first all right again this will come from the uh, react drei all right and i'm gonna write see i'm gonna write uh, something like dev i'm gonna give a class name of something like you know uh annotation it will contain the pricing of that i'm gonna write six point six hundred dollars come on it's a rolex so even six hundred dollars looks fine uh, looks very small uh anyhow uh six hundred dollars so if you guys can see i don't think you'll find it and you'll find it over here right as you guys can see over here you'll find this uh six hundred dollar thing so now we can just style this particular div you know maybe maybe we can uh scale this up scale to something like hundred okay that doesn't make a lot of difference but we can scale it up to 100 and we'll ch uh, change the rotation of it 
not rotate on axis we'll, ro we'll uh, write the rotation all right and i'm gonna write math dot pi divided by 2 comma 0 comma 0 and uh, this should be vice versa it should be wrapped inside flower brackets and there should be uh, array element position it as 180 minus 350 50 transform occlude so yeah that is what we will do uh i guess occlude hides it up so let me not make it occlude so as you guys can see you know it will uh act as if you know it will basically attach itself so that it will stay over there itself so yeah it will look something like this so now we can add some styling to this particular number uh, it's actually very easy and you know uh, i have uh, tried a lot and you know find out the best combination so if you can find a better combination so you can use it up doesn't really have to be what i am doing over here you know maybe on the z axis change this thing a little bit to 80 or may perhaps minus 80 minus 180 and make this thing to 3 yeah. so now it's over there and it looks fine and now uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to take the this part and go to styles dot yeah styles dot this thing i'm going to add a background color of i don't know if that looks fine uh, and i'm going to add a much darker shade 133 adv what about 1c 1c yeah black looks normal it doesn't look good so how about green shade yeah looks fine to me it really depends upon the individual all right i'm gonna add some padding 10px 5px i'm gonna give border radius of 10px you know uh, something like this so that it will look like a normal uh, price tag and uh, you know we can give some hover animations on it something like you know i'm gonna give transition uh, all 0 0.3 as easy in and out i'm gonna change the background color to something like red and i'm gonna yeah let me just try it out yeah nah, i guess more or less it works anyhow uh, we'll not add a horror animation to it yeah, because it doesn't look good so now i guess look this looks really fine and it has a opacity of it looks really great to be very honest so yeah yeah guys um i guess we are pretty much sorted i mean like we have uh, almost completed everything in this particular uh, section so congratulations for uh, coming this far congratulations for coming completing this uh, project so see you all guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care